today I'm going to swatch some samples that I recently received from Van Ness. They are from a couple different companies, um, some that I've been hoping to try for a while, such as Vinta, and others I've never heard of, such as Iwi, um, and then a couple that I love, such as Robert Oster, but just haven't tried this specific color. So I'm going to do um, my swatches, little spots with Q-tips, and maybe a little bit of chatting as we go through. So the first I'm going to try out is the Shimmer One by Vinta Fairy Tale and Pegtanji, I think, perhaps. This one has a shimmer. So again, it's Vinta Fairy Tale. Love seeing other people do these little doodles when they do their ink swatches. Oh, very creative, but or, or I should say artistic, but give it a shot. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of the shimmer in the area that I dabbed a little extra. Now the other one by Vinta is Armada, and this is a dual shading ink. Pretty. Oh, look, it's purple. It's got a little pink coming through. A little bit of navy as well. Oh, it's fascinating. Now, my son was in here just a few moments ago, and he's getting very much into fountain pens as well, which I love. Um, so I just ordered a four pack of some really cheap fountain pens from Amazon and he was just checking out some of my inks uh, and practicing filling those. He's 10. So um, again, I'm pretty excited that this is something that he's interested in. He recently commented that maybe he could do a YouTube video with me, so that might be something to explore. All right, so the next two are by Colorverse, 
and this is project 013 and it's called A Uma It's like a greenish gray color. Okay, next up, another one by Colorverse. And this one, I do not know how to pronounce it. Behan Jaguk, maybe? Jaguk? I am so sorry. And this one's Colorverse Kingdom. This one is really a beautiful dark gray. This is lovely. So I do a lot of note taking for work using fountain pens. It's something that's very calming for me. And so I tend to use colors that are a little bit more muted. Um, I'm not really into the bright colors like reds and pinks and oranges unless it's a shading that comes through because at times I might need to open up my notebook and show my notes to someone and so I want them to be relatively professional looking oh that's a really lovely like grayish teal so this one's Robert Oster goodness I don't know that I agree with the title muddy swamp I would think if it was swamp there'd be a little bit more brown coming through but this is this really beautiful subdued teal Next one is just to figure out how to position this. Apologies. Oh, wow, look at that.
So purple is a new color that I am absolutely exploring adding to my collection, which I think kind of tracks with this one a little bit with this one right here. Dominant industry. Downpour. And I think what I really like about purple is at first glance, you don't really know that it's a purple. So it comes across as kind of that more professional color, which is what I'm looking for. But then I kind of know, kind of like a dirty little secret. I know it's purple. And I know that's not what you do your business paperwork in. But in the writing, you know, it looks closer to a black. It's nice and dark. Oh, wow, look at that as it dries. Oh, these are some really pretty inks. I'm gonna move this again. So for those of you that do YouTube videos, please share with me what kind of tripod you use or how you set up your camera. Because I might be looking into making some changes just to increase the quality. Because I'm aware this is quite the low budget setup that I have here. All right, so this is the brand that I had not heard of. It is Iwi. And the line is Colors of Nature. And this ink is called Cold Dew. So I have another video that I filmed that I will be editing and putting up. But on Van Ness, I purchased a relatively inexpensive fountain pen. And it's by the brand Iwi. And so when I saw that they also had ink, I figured I'd pick one up just to try it out. But that also has some really nice shading to it. And there's one more. pretty this is a blackish gray ah so far in my wheelhouse right here so this is by Le Bon and it's called Athena I've seen other people swatch Le Bon inks and they're kind of the Greek gods and goddesses, Greek mythology uh, inspired. And I was surprised I've never seen anyone swatch this one. Probably because it's so basic, but basic is who I am. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, this would be a really nice ink to add to the collection maybe. I've also decided I'm going to focus on getting samples as opposed to full size so that I can figure out how much I like an ink before I invest in a full body bottle. Goodness. 
All right, so these are my samples. Oh, look at, look at that shimmer. It's like a rose gold shimmer in the Vinta Fairy Tale ink. The Armada reminds me a lot of a Sailor ink. It's coming up darker on the camera, but it's this really lovely um, purple with hints of pink and then a ring around here is a darker blue. The A Uma also reminds me of a Sailor ink with some of the shading. It's like a sage green. Again, the camera is not picking up how light it is, but um, even in this little blob here, you can see the shading. The Colorverse Kingdom here. I've got purple from my son's fountain pen. Whoops. Um, this one really lovely and look at that the darker purple, darker than this one, with a teeny tiny bit of gray. And this, oh, I think this is going to be a full bottle one. That's beautiful. Moving over here, we've got the Dominant Industry Downpour, which again, really nice purple, grayish purple. Cold Dew, which is kind of a lighter version of the mu Muddy Water and much more gray. Again, it's coming up very dark on the camera here, but it is quite a beautiful gray with a hint, hint, hint of teal. And then the last one is the Laban Athena, which is very dark. It's kind of a black with a teeny bit of navy and a teeny bit of gray. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this. These were very nice samples and it was my first time ordering from Van Ness. So they have slightly larger samples than some of the other sites that I've seen. I think perhaps even double the sample size. Um, so it's a good amount. It's really going to help, a, I, I suppose, help someone really figure out if they want to purchase a full bottle of an ink. And like I mentioned, I have another video that should be coming out in the near future for a pen review that I got from Van Ness. And sneak peek, I will also be doing a review for these pens that I just got from Amazon, as I mentioned a bit ago, I gave two to my son and he inked those up today, um, but they're very similar to a Twisby Eco with the nib that's very similar to a Lamy. So I will be checking those out, inking them up, writing with them, and sharing a video. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed these samples as much as I did.